In case you didn't know, today is the 75th birthday of the NHS. Our NHS, the envy of the world, the 8pm clapping NHS, the nonsensical organization that you keep increasing the budget, somehow the money gets missing. So, this is absolutely ludicrous. Westminster Abbey today, this morning, hosted a service <laughs> in celebration of the 75th anniversary of the National Health Service, NHS 75. Today, it was at 11 a.m. And you had all the politicians. Oh, they lapped it up. They're loving it. They went there. They worshipped the state religion that is the NHS. And uh, we, the patients, the taxpayers, we are the ones who get criticised for destroying the NHS. It's our fault, apparently. Not the fault of the NHS. And this is absolutely disgusting. It's such an envy of the world that no other country has copied it. And it's such an envy of the world <laughs> that despite all the money, there's still problems. So, these are the images that we have uh, from this morning. The new state religion that is the NHS. Westminster Abbey, you had... Oh dear... You had Steve Barclay, who's the uh, Secretary of State for Health and Social Care. You had our Prime Minister, His Majesty's Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak or Rashid Sunuk. He was there. And of course, Keir Beer Starmer also attended. Loving it. They're all loving it. It's, it's so disgusting what's going on. When you create a cult, when you create a religion out of the state, the problem with it is that when it goes wrong, you cannot fix it. Because it's unspeakable. You cannot criticize it. You can't even ask to reform it. Because you are basically committing a sin. We are reaching a very, very dangerous point in our country when it comes to health and healthcare. And nobody in the establishment wants to listen. So, Westminster Abbey, uh, they said, the Dean of Westminster, oh dear, <laughs> Dr. David Hoyle, uh, gave the bidding saying, uh, born of the radical conviction that we must care for one another, the NHS sets before us all the better angels of our nature. <laughs> Here is high principle translated into best practice. Hang on. The very radical conviction that we must care for one another. When, did that, when was that ever radical in, in modern society? Why are they creating random ideas for themselves? They're creating scenarios and concepts out of nothing. It's completely delusional. Yeah. The other countries who don't have the NHS, developed countries in Western Europe and Northern Europe, they also care about themselves, each other. It's... Okay, then you had the Right Honourable Sir Keir Starmer MP, who said, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. <laughs> they, they will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. But you still have to wait for months to get a basic appointment uh, for your cancer treatment or anything else you have. Yeah, it's okay, because we can still worship it, even if it doesn't work. And the Prime Minister read from Matthew 25. He said, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food, and lots of taxpayers' money. Yeah. What is happening to this country, guys? Um, it is weird because a few years ago when we started, I've, I've been talking about this for about 12 years, well, 13 years in politics, about reforming the NHS. Now, back then, this narrative was started saying if you criticize the NHS, if you reform the NHS, that means you want the most extreme version of the American healthcare system. So if you basically need paramedics on the streets, they will leave you there unless you have a lot of money. Nobody actually said that. No, nobody wants that. Yeah, just that's so nonsensical. Even the Americans decided to reform that system. The idea is you go with best case at, at studies. You go Western Europe. You, you even got France. It's still better than here. Switzerland, the Denmark, Sweden, Australia, Singapore. Just look at those systems. Copy the best parts of it. Make it personalized for this country. Start from scratch, and you can have a universal healthcare system. Universal access for everybody. You can have that. But you don't need the NHS logo. You don't need the sacred cow. You don't need all this money being wasted on the mid-management and the executives and the diversity officers. It's nonsensical. When people say, well, I was ill and the NHS saved my life. The NHS didn't save your life. Doctors and nurses saved your life.
this narrative must change and we must counter it right now. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.